Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp and we're back on the farm. Today it's time to buy a sugar mill. Just casually purchasing an entire industry, as you do. I'm not totally sure this is the best position, but it seems okay with that road leading up here and all. We all know how much I like to drive on the roads and never cut across fields. A bit more paving and the area's looking even more industrial. Is this farm sim or industry sim? Why not both? Because I've already got some sugar beets in storage, I can immediately test out my new factory. How wonderful. Sugar beets are indeed a bulk crop. It's going to take a lot of trucking to keep this industry running, I think. After a while, I've got a little bit of sugar. Just a couple of pallets. And the best price was at the chocolatier. Turns out the chocolatier is a bit of a jerkwad and will only take a small amount of sugar. And I have, in fact, a large amount of sugar. So, off to the supermarket I go. I really wish the loading dock here was better suited to large trucks like this one. That would be quite handy. In my quest to improve my sugar generating efficiency, I discovered that you can cut the sugar beets, and it seems cheaper to run that process too. I haven't done the math because I don't care that much, but I think it's also just more efficient to deal in cut beets. And the leftovers can be sold for more than uncut beets as well. So I got myself the beet chopping digger bucket thing and a conveyor. And well, this is the procedure. The truck drops the sick beets on the ground. They go up the conveyor, get chopped and dropped into the factory. It works, but it is a bit of a pain in the ass. In an effort to further improve my beet related efficiency, I thought why not buy a silo? The factory can only hold 360,000 litres of cut beets which is probably more than it can actually use in a year, but that's besides the point. The plan for the silo was to load it with plain sugar beets, then using the chopper bucket thing, dump the cut beets right back into the silo. I thought it was a good idea, and it is, in theory. It just doesn't work though. You can't put beets into this silo. Let's have a break for something cute. On my streams, some of you might have seen me trying to find my good doggo, and he was seemingly missing. It seems I've found out what the dog has been doing. Swimming. I'm glad he's got such a healthy hobby. He seems to be having a lot of fun at it too. This is such a small, silly little thing to have in the game, but I really enjoy it. I'm glad somebody spent the time to do this. Back to the beat malarkey. I installed another mod. This auger wagon looks like the one for beats that comes with the base game. The difference here is that this one will cut the beats when you unload it. I figure this will save a lot of arsing about with a tractor and the beet cutting bucket thing. Just to be sure, I had to check to see if the silo would accept cut beets. No dice. I am a bit disappointed, that cost a fair bit of money. I guess I'll just have to figure out a different use for it. And at least I've still made cutting the sugar beets a lot easier, and that's fine by me. Now I can have a good, strong, and presumably profitable supply of sugar. I am going to have to figure out a storage solution for the cut beets, because the railway silo just won't take them, which is very rude, but that, as the youth say, is something for future Herbert to worry about. Before we can even think about that, I've got some trees to deal with. But that's for next time. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. And if you've not already done so, why not subscribe here on YouTube for the low, low price of absolutely nothing. Or if you've got the means and you want to help a Herbert Herbert do Herbert Herbert Herb things and see my videos a bit early, consider becoming a patron. You can find links to Patreon and all of my other things like Discord and social media in the description below. And as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have a fantastic day, and thank you for watching. Farewell.